Today, Ms. Latell is making some noise on social media, news, and our TV screens. But how do we know if the information lies in front of us is factual or not? What is Ms. Latell and what does it have to do on the daily lives of Filipinos? On November 7, 2018, the Department of Information and Communications Technology, or DICT, identified Ms. Latell as the third telco player in the Philippines. From the top 10 potential list of third telecom bidders, it all came down to one and on November 19, 2018, and bank issued Ms. Latell's confirmation order as the country's official third telco player. The Mindanao Islamic Telephone Company Incorporated, or Ms. Latell, is led by Davao-based businessman Dennis A. Uy, co-founder, chairman, CEO, and president of Phoenix Petroleum Philippines and state-owned China Telecom Corporation. It is compromised of Mindanao Islamic Telephone Incorporated, or Ms. Latell, Pozena Corporation, Chelsea Logistics Holdings, or CLC, and China Telecom. According to Ms. Latell's spokesperson, Attorney Adel Tamano. Well, two things. First, um, in terms of the relationship, no, nasagot na po ng Malacanang yan. Uh, and anyone who knows President Duterte knows that he is not the type of person who will do personal favors in order to benefit someone commercially. So that's the first point. The second point, if you participated in the selection process, it was open, it was transparent, and it was fair. No? Um, we had uh, three public consultations, one public hearing. Uh, we had numerous uh, uh, meetings with the uh, NPC and the ICT. The bidding process was live. Uh, no one knew who was going to bid. No one knew what the other bids would be. The bid was done in a, in a scientific, scientific and uh, numerical fashion so that the NPC actually had no discretion in choosing. It was just, sino ba ang pinakamataas no, na ino offer in terms of coverage, speed, and uh, committed investments. Okay. So totally fair, totally transparent yung process. And I think that answers any issues about whether or not this is a sweetheart deal, which, is, which mm -hmm. it is not. According to Pierre Galia, a telecommunications expert, Ms. Latell may have the technical capability to compete with the existing telecommunication provider in the Philippines, but their commitment is not enough to take the country to the forefront of the industry in Southeast Asia. China Telecom, mantanga ba sa seguridad ng Pilipinas? Okay. Uh, so, hindi po yun mangyari. Dahil uh, under the terms of reference po, when we submit our rollout plans sa uh, NTC, kailangan namin ng detailed description on how we will be providing uh, protection for national security and cyber security. Kasama po yun sa terms of reference. So it will be very clear that as we do our rollout, that will be top uh, priority for us to ensure national security. And again, we have to go back to the fact we are a Filipino company. We will never allow our national security uh, to be undermined um, by, by any party. Huh? Um, so you have that assurance. Knowing that Ms. Latell is ready to start their operations in the Philippines, what are the views and opinions of Filipino masses with regards to this matter? In 2014, the administration tasked IT government agencies to build a commission focused on developing information and communications technology around the country. Commission on Information and Communications Technology then went on to restructure after two years to be recognized as Department of Information and Communications Technology. The DICT has been in charge of numerous moves to give online connectivity to as much of the Philippines as possible. Today, a huge number of public places throughout the country now enjoy free Wi-Fi access. With its continuous projects and feasible arrangements, it is clear that a DICT is completely centered around conveying the Philippines to the dimension it needs, so as to rival its neighbors. Looking at the profile rundown of Ms. Latell and its submitted financial investors submitted to the DICT, Uzena Corporation will hold 35% full partnership, CLC at 25%, while China Telecom will have 40% which is the most extreme confinement force for foreign ownership in the Philippines. The acting secretary of DICT, Eliseo Rio Jr., said that out of all 10 bidders, Ms. Atel is the only telco player who was able to give all the requirements.
Mr. Tao's operation in the country and the preparations for this are not going smoothly as expected. Mr. Tao had an issue with the delay of insurance of certificate of public convenience and failed to operate within a year after it was granted. What makes Mr. Tao worthy of continuing business in the country after facing legal issues concerning of their failure to comply to some NTC requirements? Is it an intelligent choice to still entrust our country's telecommunications to them? Is their promise being the best telecommunications in the country already put to question? From 2020, Mr. Tell will move the start of his commercial operations to early 2021, resulting from the delay in the issuance of the certificate to operate. Despite the issues they are facing, Mr. Tell's operations are said to be approved and will push through.